Hi everybody, welcome to day 16. You weren't expecting this on the video to start the week. Um, well, Kelly and I are in bed. I know, not that kind of video, believe me. I've done too many of them in my time. Now, um, day 16 is uh, going to be a very short little bit of footage because we are both in bed, because we had our jabs yesterday for COVID and for flu. And now we're in bed. Yeah. Poorly. Having a, poorly. Having a bad day. Um, so, day 16 is kind of cancelled. I think we're on water, aren't we? Pretty much. Water and just a little bit of soup. Yeah. I had extremely bad stomach problems last night. Not That's all you need to know about. Quite frankly, I want to forget it right now. Um, so, I probably lost weight just through that. Uh, probably think this reaction to the medication, but to be honest, we're both not feeling very well at all. Head headaches and all that kind of stuff so we will see you on day 17 bye Morning or afternoon? Yeah, I'm losing track of time. It's still morning. Probably still morning. Uh, yeah. Good morning. Yeah, we're back. We're back on track. Yeah. Yeah. After a yesterday was not a very good. Yeah, day. Yeah, not a very good day was it? Um, I think that was just reactions from the medications, to be honest, and the fact yeah. on an empty stomach, really. Yeah. Might have injections helped. weren't good. Yeah. So, um, anything to say about today? Um. So today is day seventeen. It is. And we're still okay. Yeah. We, um, this morning, when I made our morning juice, I did a double lot yeah. so that it's ready for tomorrow morning. Because you can keep these for up to 72 hours, but I wouldn't go that far. But um, in the morning, when the children are off to college, it's it's a rushy sort of start, if you know what I mean. Yeah, we, so, we've got to sort the kids out and sometimes we've got to take them into college as well. So get a little bit crazy. Yeah. So um, we've got a morning juice ready now. Tomorrow. Yeah. What are we drinking today? Um, um, hmm. I believe it was carrot limeade or something carrot like that. Carrot limeade, I think you said, yeah. Like that, yeah. Yeah, so this is cucumbers, carrots, apple. Lime. Lime, pretty much, yeah. Shouldn't yeah. be too unpalatable. It's actually not. The apples that we got at the moment are orchard apples. Yeah, they're really good. And they are really good. And they're cheap. got a really nice taste. We got them from Sainsbury's. They're, they're just in packs and they're bigger than most apples. They yeah. actually taste really nice. I will say I did eat an apple the other day, an actual apple because they just tasted so nice, I thought I'd give one a try. My jaw hurt afterwards just from chewing an apple. I know, it's just very weird. Um, but it was very healthy. Yesterday, we had we stuck to basically soup and water. Lemon really water, yesterday. really. Had a few lemon water. Lemon but because stuff. we were at well enough to go and make juice, and that is one of the reasons why we're thinking about doing some more in advance yeah. like that, just in case the next day could be too busy. So um, I made a... First time I've ever made a vegetable minestrone soup. Yeah, from a uh, Antonio Carluccio's yeah, book, which Carluccio's is actually book. brilliant. It really was, and it was really lovely. And not tomatoey, because every time I no. get minestrone soup from a tin or most restaurants, to be honest, it's got to loads of tomatoes in it. But this wasn't. No, it wasn't. There was two fresh tomatoes chopped into but it. But you wouldn't know it. But it was basically a broth with lots of veg in it, and yeah. it was really nice. And it was really good, wasn't it? And it, it actually enabled us to have some vegetables that I wouldn't juice. So, for instance, there was celery in there, there was courgettes in there. Yes, you certainly um, wouldn't be juicing celery because you don't do that one. There was baby, baby leeks, leeks in, in it. there. Okay, you wouldn't really want to no. juice an onion very much because the concentration would be So, ridiculous. all of those things were in that soup which meant we got more vegetables yeah, in veg. a different way. Different way. So yeah. that's fine. So that's good too. So um, We will do that on camera, actually. The veg yeah, we'll make that, that video. Um, we'll make a recipe video. We'll test it out first. Sometimes we don't test things out. Sometimes that's fun. Um, sometimes we do test things out. Yeah. Um, but right now, we don't want to waste the food, so let's test it out, make sure it's okay. And then if we like it, we'll give it to you. So we're going to uh, crack on. Got a busy old day of editing to do for various other things. And... Um, You've got loads of ironing to do today. Yes, Sunday is my ironing day. Sunday is my ironing boop. day. Take your time, pace yourself as always. <laughs> All right? So, uh, that's day 17. So, it's not an awful lot the same most days now because, quite frankly, we're just getting through it every single day. We're in we're, the groove, in effect. Kind of. 
Um, well, I know you don't like it, but the fact is, is that we're in a routine. Yeah, we're in the routine. As far as I'm concerned, we're on the way down, and that sounds awful, but it's like down to that 30 days, and then we'll, yeah. then we'll move on to the next stage. But for now, cheers, everybody. Good morning and goodbye. See you tomorrow. Go on, pull the face. Not bad, actually. Not going to pull a face. Not going to pull a face today. <laughs> Like that. <laughs> Hi everybody and welcome to day 18. Not a lot to say today because it's one of them kind of quiet days. Um, we're back on track, drinking juice very nicely. Uh, been no problems today, even I've managed to drink them today. Maybe my taste buds are changing and that's something we'll discuss in a second. Um, mainly we are thinking, Kelly is here but she's off camera today. We are thinking our taste buds are changing. Um, for reasons unbeknown to us, you had to try some chilli stuff the other day. The kids had. Yeah, Is that right? It was a chilli dip, a sweet chilli dip. It was a sweet chilli dip and we had to taste it to see if... if how hot. How hot it was because the kids don't really do spicy stuff. And right. nor does Kelly. See, she is here, but she's jabbering away in the background. And nor does Kelly. However, suddenly she can eat sweet chilli sauce. Something she's never done before and actually has got a bit of a taste for it. Enjoy it, really enjoyed it so I'll be interested to see um, what happens after this um, month to see if she can actually have some kind of chilli stuff because she really likes crispy prawns and things you can get chilli sauce with those so taste buds are changing I certainly have some strange taste going on in my mouth at times I really do some of that's from the juice I think um, and I did eat an apple the other day which didn't quite taste like an apple anymore Does that makes sense so maybe there are some things going on taste wise it will be very interesting after 30 days once you go into proper food uh, and uh, apart from the soups proper food and see what happens now talking about the soups and the juices day 18 and god i'm bored i just bored and yet the soups are lovely because we've created a whole bunch of recipes for these soups and they're all lush in bristolian they'd be great lush but i'm just bored just bored bored with juice and bored with soup and bored with soft stuff i saw my mother-in-law today and i said look i'm not 95 i don't need pureed food right now constantly um i'm just kind of craving solids really um but it'll happen and hopefully the boredom will stop it's like when you have a porridge diet i mean i think we tried one of them once and like three or four days in after about for a few days we're all right oh, i love porridge it's really good and then a few days in you're thinking oh my god how many days have i got to do porridge hmm i'm still thinking how many days have i got to do this but hopefully the results are are working uh, i haven't weighed myself this week i don't feel particularly lighter so maybe that has plateaued a bit but we will find out at the end of the week you never know um but i feel healthier um less out of breath certainly when i'm when i'm walking and exercising kelly certainly feels a little bit more healthy that she'd done for a long time uh, with fibro so it'll be interesting to see what happens but we move on to day 19 because there's not an awful lot to say today so i shall stop talking hi everybody welcome to day 19, 19. um bit of a subdued day 19 yeah it's a bit honest. of a subdued day today. we got we got to admit something today um uh, following yesterday when i discussed boredom 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 um we had a really busy day yesterday we had, Yeah, as well. we did. We were out we're everywhere. At we day. were at our in-laws, or my in-laws, and uh, then we had to do shopping all day. They went to put the kids up from college. There was just... It was, it was just a constant day for some reason. Lots of things happening yesterday. So we succumbed. Yes, we did. Day 19, and we succumbed. Uh, we were in the supermarket, and we just... We hadn't had time to do the juices in the morning because we had no. to go out early to get the kids into college. We had to go straight to your mother as another part of Cornwall but then it was supermarket then it was here so just you know, lots of excuses but basically lack of preparation yesterday I think we should have maybe in hindsight done the juices the night before so yeah. we had something so we didn't juice uh did we have a morning juice we had a morning we had a morning juice, juice because, because we had it the day before. That day before that's right we should have done the other ones yeah but we didn't so we didn't do... yeah sorry about this it's rambling but we're trying to work out how to work what happened yesterday so we popped to the supermarket. We got loads of stuff for the kids and whatever and for their tea. Um, and there were some yellow stickers. 
yellow sticker. I can't resist a yellow sticker. Come on, who can resist a yellow sticker? So we thought, well, we'll have a little bit of something normal. Um, so I just I went for a, a little one person curry with rice. And it was yeah. already like Mild it was the one, curry already and the made, rice yeah. Together, so. About four hundred calories. I thought, well, that'll be all right. It's just a four hundred calorie thing. And I think you had. I had five chicken. I, I, we call them gyozos. Not sure what the pro- called, proper pronunciation sure, is. No, but they're like little chicken dumplings. and vegetable dumplings, which are, which are nothing. I mean, honestly, they're about. They're two hundred calories for the five. for the whole five. So we thought, well, that'll be all right. We'll just have a little bit of normal food. They yeah. were actually my favourites. They before. are your favourites. I do love a curry. And it was just an exceptionally mild one. It's just a little butter chickeny thing. Hardly anything, right? I mean, the portion control. Wow, if that's the portion I'm going to get used to, that's going to be fun. Um, however, my body didn't like it. Well, I'm not surprised. Your body's like not curry. keen right now. My body today is telling me it's that not happy. it's not happy. I've got a tummy ache and yeah. I feel much more pained. Than I have done since the very first week. Yeah. The first week, the pain was very, very intense and bad. I mean, it was a solid nine. Yeah, it was. And you know about that was a pain, yeah. So, um, but since then, it's leveled off and I've been probably at about a five quite a lot of the time. Which is very good for you. Unheard of. Unheard of. Um, But today, I think we're back up at seven. We've kind of realised that it didn't work. I mean, literally, I think within. An hour, at the most, an hour of my my eating my dinner, I was in the loo, and it wasn't pleasant. Oh my god! And I wasn't pleasant all night, and then I wasn't still pleasant halfway through the night. Um, I didn't realise there's still so much in me, to be honest, but there isn't now. I'll tell you that right now. Um, so it's going to be interesting when we move into what we assumed was what we were going to do next in like two weeks' time, or less than two weeks' time, when you go into small portion evening meals apart from soup which is nothing which is flat as a pancake and all blitz down well, to nothing vegetables, basically. yeah um what's going to happen when we come off this that's going to be the tricky bit so we've got to work that out um i think it's going to be a lot lighter food than we tried yesterday although mm. i don't know how you can get lighter than 200 calories well no but well i think maybe no, it was like is the oil in it or something well, in the, the curry that really affected me it could be that could be that maybe we have to go for some grilled fish or something just to start us slowly back into normality we found out badly okay but that's fine it's, it's what happens we'll test it so today we're on full juicing again yeah. i finished i finished mine my, my glass is gone look i've actually drank all you can't see my glass but it's gone uh, that's, that's kelly's um, what's left of the breakfast one We've got a lunchtime one to do, and we'll be back on a little bit of light mushroom soup for evening. Yeah, we've got mushroom yeah, soup tonight. If we're okay. Um, so, sorry for falling off the wagon slightly, but actually, Joe Cross says on the thing, if you fall off slightly, it doesn't make any difference. Just congratulate yourself for doing the, what would be oh, we did 18, 18 days. days. Well, 17 days. Uh, 17 17 days, and then 18. we're kicking back into the next bit. So, it, it's absolutely fine. It's one of those things. We are human after all. And boy, did I find out how human my body is now. We, uh, we live and learn. 20. We'll see you on day 20. Bye, everybody. Bye. Oh, I've got something I love. Oh. It's called eyeball. No, I've got very sore eyes today, actually. Oh, They're very sore today. Be. I know. I'm struggling today. So this is a very quick video because I'm not really on any computer screens or anything today. Um, so we popped out and uh, I got some new glasses. These aren't the new glasses, but I got some more glasses. Uh, if you watch the golf channel, you know I lost some the other day playing golf, filming. You did. I know. Thank you very much, John Eva at Specsavers. He, I know he watches this, so uh, just like to say thank you very much. Now, we are on day... 20. 20. We're in the twos. We're in the twos. That's another golfing term for you. 10 days. 10 left. days to go. The countdown is on. and literally the countdown in my head right now. That, that's fine. But but now now it's on the way down and I can, I can take it all off now. We've had our juices for today and we're going to have a bit of tomato soup for later. We are. So... Tre- technically, in my head, day 20 is over. Done the juices, okay? So, very quickly, because this, this is hurting today. Oh, it is, love. Well, rub your head, love. Thanks. No, no. Pat, your head. Oh, God. Oh, that's not good. Right. Um, very quickly, losing weight, right? Now, we don't know if we lost weight this week. I'm not really sure. It's been a bit up and down this week, I think. Um, but there is something that's been a bit interesting, you think. 
I, I think I, my feet's got thin. Yeah, I caught you this morning, just laying on the, on the bed, twiggling your feet around like this. I won't show you, you won't demonstrate, honestly. And I said to you, what is it? And you said, you think your feet are smaller. Well, thinner. Thinner, yeah. Um, and in a strange quirk of fate, it might be interesting if they are, because hopefully that'll happen to me. Because my problem, certainly with trainers, and especially with golf shoes and all those kind of things, is that I cannot get normal sizes in this country. Nope. Because you've got great big fat feet and they are a size so, 13. So, so they say, people with big feet. Do they? Yeah, I'm not going to say anything more than that, mm. really. But right. Um, Let's hope for some shrinkage then. <laughs> um, so yeah, I have to I have to get my um, golf shoes normally from America. Mm-hmm. Because they don't really do them that size. And most trainers are really tricky. So if I get down to a 12, which is theoretically possible. Yep. Might be able to get some more shoes, and obviously I get down to normal clothes. That'd be quite nice too. Yeah. But we never really thought about feet. I mean, yeah, you, you know, you you have said there is another area of your body that has dropped in size. Yes. Yeah. We don't need to go into details about that uh, either. Upper area has dropped in size, but that well, women would need to know these things. I'm doing this for the benefit of women, not for all the blokes here watching the channel. So you've dropped a size in your boob size. I've dropped a cup size. Cup yeah. size, yeah. Again. Random stuff. It's going to cost us a fortune if we lose too much weight. Can we have to buy loads of new clothes? And right now, we did look in one of the clothes shops today, and you said, I don't want anything for a change. And I said, why? He said, because I don't want anything yet. I know. I do hope we're going to survive to the January sales because it's going to cost I'm an absolute sensible. fortune. Well, yeah, but that's the thing. When you lose weight, you kind of start buying more clothes, and they're different sizes. But when do you start buying? Do you decide... Like I've lost maybe through me, I say I've lost two stone, maybe I'll start buying now. Or do I wait well I might get down to four stone and lose weight then? Or yeah. maybe it's six stone. You don't know, do you? When do you actually start buying clothes when you again? You put your clothes on and they're hanging off to the point where you look like a scruff bag. That's what I reckon. I always look like a scruff bag most of the time. Right, I call it living casually. Right. right. Okay. Okay. So we're gonna go because there's not a lot to say today apart from Kelly's feet and um, other areas getting smaller and hopefully mine getting smaller, some of them. Some areas. Uh, right, so we're going to go. I See digress. You tomorrow, See 21. you on day 21. Although I may not be overducing tomorrow because I'm filming. No. That's the situation we've got. So bottles of water for me tomorrow. We'll see how it goes. Um, I may do a film tomorrow on the course. I may do a film when I get back with you. Okay. So there you go. See you later. Bye, everybody. Bye. Hi, everybody, and welcome to day 21. Day 21. I never thought I'd get this far. Um, but I am, and thank you very much to Kelly for helping me get here and give me all the love and support and encouragement and and putting the arm behind my back and force-feeding me lots of strange juice. Um, Kelly's not with me today because I'm going to be with Neil. I'm going to be doing some filming. I'm at Gwillam Moor today, which is an artificial golf course, which is fantastic. Um, so this morning I had a breakfast juice. I've got water the rest of the day and it'll be a little golden vegetable soup for tonight so officially my day 21 has finished with juice i'm just on water and a little bit of soup later um again it's that issue with uh when you go traveling what do you do how do you take your juice with you etc because it's got to kind of be kept but um back on water it will be fine so tomorrow uh morning i will do a weigh-in and then we'll add that to the bottom of this video and obviously, Kate will probably tell you what uh, she's lost, um, if we've lost anything. Um, but it's been it's been a difficult week. There's been lots of issues, as I think it normally happens when you've kind of got into something for a while now. I've also felt that my weight plateaued and didn't really move, and then you kind of get a little bit despondent because things have been happening just so fast. But your body has to recover from those things and, and reassess itself, I guess, really. So onwards and downwards... This is the end of week three. I look forward to seeing you um, after the weigh-in tomorrow and then into week four. Have a great day, everybody. Feeling good. Feeling good, I am. Feeling good. Hi, everybody, and welcome back to the Juicy Diary. Ooh. I know, I love the Juicy Diary. Um, conclusion of week three. And uh, we've just done a weigh-in. We did do a weigh-in. We did do a weigh-in. Um, I've lost four pounds. I'm very happy with that. I think if I've added it up now, that's 31 pounds in three, three weeks. weeks. I can't can't complain with that at all. Um, although I've complained about all the juicing all the way through, it's obviously very effective and it's doing a good job. Onwards and downwards. Kelly, what's happened to you? I lost another three pounds. 
which is fantastic because considering the fact that you thought most of the week you hadn't lost anything. Well, I don't feel lighter this week. This is the weird thing. You right. know, like when you're losing weight, there comes a point where you think, I feel lighter. Yeah, okay. And I haven't felt that this week. And there has been a couple of instances where there has been a slight slip. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, Nothing serious, just no, the, odd, but, the odd nibble of cracker and a, stuff like or, that. Or but. stuff like that, yeah. So, um... So I wasn't really expecting anything. Yeah. In fact, I had in my mind, if I've stayed the same, I'll be happy. Fair enough. But I got on the scales and it was distinctly, absolutely, definitely yeah. three pounds. Fact, I had to go and check. Yeah, you checked. You didn't know, so I could check. Well, because not so I disprove it, but you were shouting, can't John come and please check this to make sure it's right? Yes, it was. And we we're so, keeping it on an app as well. So we do know what we've been Doing Amber right in the diary, aren't we? So. so I've lost, up till now, I've lost 11% of my total body weight. Yeah, exactly. I mean... That, yeah. We've got different apps. Yeah, we've got different apps. And um, I've not even lost 10% of mine yet, just because how big I was when I started. But, quite simply, that's you know, fantastic. It's for, for, for both of us, but brilliant for you, because you really struggle to lose weight. I can yeah. lose weight quite quickly sometimes, and then it'll plateau, but it hasn't plateaued yet, which is great. Um, but you struggle all the time to even lose yeah. a pound. I think you said, when did you start looking at, not st- a diet, but you're looking at changing I started your weight? The start of the year, wasn't it? May was the official time. I downloaded this app, and it's a free app. Um, I downloaded it in May. I started in May. And since May, I've now lost a stone in 10 pounds. Yeah. But most of that, or a large proportion of that. In the last three weeks. It's been the last three weeks. Yeah. I've lost more in the last three weeks than I have in the last well four months. Four five months, months. Five months, yeah. So it you know, it is working. Um I think we both feel better for it. We just walked up the shops again. You had yeah. you had your eyebrows done, very nice. There's dinner as well now, love. That's everything's thinner. Every, everything's thinner. I think that's the thing that we're noticing more than the weight loss. Yeah, is the change in the body shape it's and the clothes. way the clothes are fitting. Or I've got, not I've got fitting. a shirt on today that I never wear because it got too tight. Months and months yeah. and months and months. Found, and a, found a little jacket today that I've never put on. No, I thought I need a jacket to go out because it's, it's pretty cold, normal wet out here today. And my my main one was in the car, stuffed in my golf bag from the other day. Um, so I just grabbed it and oh, well, this fits. Yeah. And where are that? Suddenly, suddenly, those clothes that we've had stored for a long time that are starting to fit, for many years that are starting to fit, and uh, I suppose it won't be long before we will start looking for clothes, for new clothes. And the other thing that I really noticed today, which is good, because obviously, the thing is, is when you're together all the time, and John and I are basically together 24-7, yeah, there's not a much. lot of time that we're not together. No. I mean, we, we might not be in the same room or whatever, but we're usually in the same house. Yeah, you see each other regularly or all the time. John would the day. go off golfing or whatever for a day, but we're basically together 24-7. So we walked up to the shops today. I needed to go and get my eyebrows done, so I went and did that, and John went on up to the shops. Yeah, and I popped up to a charity shop, which I never go to because it's up a hill. Right. <laughs> and I wouldn't have bothered to go on. But I followed after I'd had my eyebrows done, so I was probably 10, 15 minutes yeah. behind John. And I knew roughly where he was going to be. So I checked where he said he was going to be the first place and he wasn't there. So I walked towards the square and I thought he'll be hanging around the square somewhere, but I couldn't see him. So I went to phone and as I went to phone, I saw him walking down the road. Down the hill, yeah. And as he was walking down the road, I thought, oh my goodness, so the wow. Dif- the difference, There yeah. was a massive difference. Yeah, I, you keep saying I see the negative because I look at myself sideways on videos and think, of, oh no, you're still massive. And yeah, I'm still a big bloke, so fair enough. I'd like to get to the point where I could do one of those before and after of it pictures and I can't do that yet. Yeah. To me, in my head, it's a, lot, it's a long way to go, but hey. It's been a fantastic start. That's all I can say, really. Yeah. So we've got another eight days to go. Yeah. Um, I think we're going to do a diary. Well, it's kind of every eight days anyway, really. We could do a diary just to say that and then do a conclusion video yeah. afterwards I about that's what, we'll do. what we've what we've thought about what's happening with this and how we're going to move forward um, in the future with it because there's some things we will certainly be sticking with. Absolutely. A few things we won't a, be able to stick with, but that's fine. This has been tough. Yeah. Uh, you know, I'm not playing it down at all it's been tough it is something that you really have to commit to um well, we've got a couple but, of buccaneers who are saying you know they need to lose a bit of weight and neil's been saying it himself he wants to lose a bit of weight 
and it's but no just don't do this just just don't do this to the other people just don't because it's unless you really really feel you have you can do this don't because it is tough but there is no way that we are going to go through 30 days of this yeah and let it slip a whole lot back on that's just not it's not happening so so we'll deal with that in the future but we're going to go because it's going to be quite a long video but currently i think i'm 31 pounds down and you are do you think did you work out how much um 10 i'm 10 10 down very good very good when you think about the size difference here all pretty good to me bye everybody we'll see you on week four yeah the final week final week final eight days bye have a great weekend